Now it's Tuesday 16th of July and uh, we've just had another PTU patch. We're on to 3.60p. Now I've been playing the last couple of days and uh, the good news is that uh, it's been pretty stable on the PTU. However, obviously there are still um, issues and uh, well, there's going to be issues on the PTU and probably in Star Citizen as a whole for quite a while to come because uh, there's still a lot to be done. Now today I just thought I would take a look at uh, some of the new weapon attachments uh, but first I thought I would actually uh, show you a little bit of uh, how uh, some of the AI is progressing. Now basically uh, I was trying to get to the security post carrier to uh, do the clear the uh, outlaw mission and uh, I got intercepted by the AI and rather fight them fight them off I'm a, not a very good pilot as you probably uh, know if you've seen my videos uh, I decided to jump out the back of the uh, ship and EVA down but it was actually interesting to see the AI ships continue to circle uh, the vanguard I was in and uh, actually uh, take pot shots at the ship. Pretty interesting to see their behaviour. Um, I think some progress is certainly being done there. Um, obviously, uh, if they really was aware, they would probably be uh, actually uh, trying to actually uh, take me out. But uh, fortunately, uh, they didn't. Well, this one nearly actually uh, took me out by ramming into me. That was pretty close. But uh, it was pretty interesting. Anyway, I made myself my way down uh, to the security post and to uh, actually uh, check out some of the uh, uh, scopes and sights on the weapons. Now, I did have a few issues uh, actually with the uh, weapon attachments and also uh, some of the uh, weapons didn't seem to actually reload properly. I think it was a little bit of a bug but um, as you can see I had the actual four times scope attached um, here and uh, yeah it gives you quite a nice zoomed in um, look Obviously, you're probably better with a um, with the hollow sight, close up sight f uh, for close up quarters, um, FPS uh, engagements. But uh, this worked fine, and uh, the AI here in the security post, as you know, it's uh, maybe it's improved a little bit. I did notice when I started to engage them that. Uh, they did try and uh, go for the nearest cover um, but they're not a challenge at the moment as you can see you know they're sort of uh, basically uh, the type of uh, opponent I would like to fight all the time because uh, actually uh, once I uh, took out a few of these uh, AI outlaws I actually uh, got shot by a, a real player. Mind you, I did provoke them, I did open fire first. But it obviously ended up the usual way for me, pretty badly. So, uh, yeah, that's the uh, scope attachment. Um, as I said earlier, I did have a few problems uh, with changing um, the attachments and also some of the weapons wouldn't fire. Um, although they seem to be uh, fully loaded. Now I'm going to switch to, uh, I think it's Daymar here, um, to actually show you um, the uh, holosite and also the, um, the free look feature which has come into the game now very much. If you've played Armour, great, great tactical uh, army shooter that really recommend that um, 
even if you're uh, just into actually uh, making uh, your own little maps. I've tried that a few times. So here we are. We've got the uh, the weapon out. I think we're going to try the... Yep, here's the holosite. As you see, it's probably much better suited uh, for what I was doing earlier on the security post, more close up. But yeah, it works nicely. I quite like it. The actual weapons do remind me a lot of uh, the weapons in armour, armour free, I should say. Now, I was actually here to do one of the uh, missions where you actually uh, clear uh, boxes from an outpost and take them away. Um, must admit, I've done a few of those the last few days. Quite enjoyable, but uh, I always wonder what happens to the boxes in the back of the ship uh, when you've uh, done the missions. Because once you remove them from the outpost, uh, you have cleared the mission. Here we go, have a close-up look at the uh, actual weapon and the armour. This is a nice armour we're wearing here. Zoom in on the weapon and uh, we see the scope uh, sitting on the top, the weapon attachment. So yeah, they look quite nice. So we go have a look now at the free look. So uh, we're running forward and as you can see, you can, you can look left and right to give you some uh, spatial awareness, tactical awareness of your uh, surroundings. That works very well. That's a very useful feature. We can even look behind. Now, this is very similar to uh, to what you find in Armour 3. So, uh, I was pretty pleased and impressed with this. Now, as I said earlier, I did have issues uh, when you um, actually change your gun and change your sight. Uh, with the weapon seeming to uh, lock up. But uh, anyway, that's a little bit of a look at uh, the uh, couple of the weapon attachments. There are um, one or two more, I believe. You have to go to various places in the Stanton system to equip them all and to find them. And uh, anyway, I'm carrying on here, uh, shifting a box onto the back of the uh, Valkyrie from the outpost. Now you might wonder how I got my crime stat and that is something to be aware of. Actually I didn't get that for actually shooting another player. I actually got that for not stopping uh, um, by uh, Crusader, Crusader security actually tried to stop me and I tried to fly off and uh, they just wanted to scam me but that was enough to uh, actually uh, get me a uh, criminal um record now i'm doing another mission here another collection of boxes but this is quite interesting because uh see this uh yeah i'm not sure if that's crusader up there but i couldn't help to zoom in and test the site uh, you can see that it does zoom in uh proportionally on uh, the planet now there's still issues with the hover mode um now, it seems to work okay when you're on planets, but when you're above a landing pad, that often happens. And uh, I just managed to uh, stop myself actually uh, ramming into the uh, pad next door and the ship sitting on it. So there's certainly still issues with hover mode. Um, not sure, I've seen lots of reports of this happening. But uh, I did at least manage to uh, get myself down without uh, ramming the front of my ship into the uh, pad. Anyway, that's a little uh, bit of a look at what I've been doing in the PTU and uh, some of the features I've been looking at. Um, some of them look promising. Uh, some of them obviously still have work to do, like the hover mode. But... Uh, not sure when they're going to uh, ship this out uh, to live. Um, maybe uh, it is the hover mode they're still tinkering with. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Um, and hopefully I'll be back again 
sometime soon. Bye for now.